Hello Sagittarius, this is your tarot forecast for the month of June and I'm so happy to be able to bring this to you. Love, love, love the tarot, been working with that since 1975 and uh, it is my joy to bring this as an additional feature to my monthly astrology and we're going to start off with looking at the various aspects for you here this month. Now, just starting off here, I feel that you this month within your personal self, the I am energy and consciousness of self, there is this penetrating feeling of success, victory, moving ahead towards whatever it is you've been working on now for some time. It looks like it's coming together. In fact, here already in May, you might feel that there is... Um, some motion, some travel. This is if you're listening to the forecast early before June starts off. But May here has something to do with an aspect of travel, whether you're going to be traveling or somebody coming traveling to meet you. And in this, there is a crescendo of hopes and dreams now that are really starting to um, assemble its energy here around you. Financially, Sagittarius, this month, I see how you're really deepening the prospect of looking into matters, how you can now diligently start increasing more income flow. This is going to be important to you. I feel it has been important to you in the past, but even more so now, for whatever reason, your motivation is increasing. This is a great month for you to actually get to the point of opening up new chapters in your book of life. Whatever these inspirations are, it's motivating you now to look into your talents, your skills. There are above and beyond your daily work, your, your monthly income check. There might be other aspects here of your nature where you can actually come to profit from. So... Pay attention, listen within, because there's a real strong, should I say, higher guidance influencing or inspiring you here uh, throughout June. When you get a little further into the month here, I feel that you're communicating a whole lot about exactly this. Whatever insights that you've received, inspirations, suddenly something is surfacing and i'm feeling that the more you communicate these ideas the more you're going to start seeing how it's going to gel come together for you how you can profit and benefit from it and also be wise to communicate with those people that you know can enhance your own experience those of them that are a little bit ahead of you on this path that have the insights. It's like connect with them, get inspired from them, ask them what is it they do in order to get ahead and you could just come to receive a lot of valuable information, adding it to what you've already started to gel together. In the area of home and family life, Sagittarius, this month I feel there's something now really, really coming to the forefront. It's like something flushing up to the higher consciousness, to your cognitive here and now. And you're taking on a different set of direction or control. I see you more so like behind the steering wheel of your vehicle of life. You're empowered, you're strong, you're dedicated. And in this also, I'm seeing that there might just be a little more travel this month. We started out the reading talking about uh, a journey, uh, which actually indicated more of a long journey, whether you yourself would be traveling or somebody coming in. This, what I'm talking about right now, is more to and fro, maybe just day trips, out and about. And I feel that as you are traveling, there is thoughts coming to you, inspirations coming to you, inner visions perhaps too and many of us get that when we're when we're driving that we're opening up that higher mind to actually see glimpses of where we're heading then as far as love and relationships let's look at that here um this month here in june spiritually mentally physically emotionally it's all coming together here for you and i'm feeling that 
whatever you now are choosing to shut the door on in the past, well, that's a good thing. It's liberating. It's really the end of a old cycle here as you are opening up, embracing this month here of June. And it's so empowering here, Sagittarius. Why? Because I feel the sense of self, your inner worthiness, all of this is flushing up to the surface. Now, for some of you uh, of age, a little older, I'm seeing that as far as your children go, having grown children, that is, they might also now be staking out a new course, a new direction, and you being quite supportive of what it is they're going to be doing. Some uh, of the older teenagers, young adults might even be moving here are making plans of moving and they're looking into their financial security and you might be negotiating how to be supportive of them. Now, creatively, there is something here. Maybe those things, those ideas that you had earlier in the month is now manifesting, okay? They're, they're more like you can touch them. They're tangible. Now, anywhere where it involves self-expression and your creativity, this is a great time as you're coming to mid-month towards the end to actually start testing the waters. Put them out to life. You've already gained some great insight from people in the know-how. And now it's time for you to start acting upon it. When it comes to your health, I feel this month, it is a month where you might be making uh, some changes, uh, maybe changing up your daily routine, adding in a something here. Maybe it's your diet. Maybe it is working out. Uh, maybe it is just you straightening out your how you're spending your time uh, this month. There's two things coming up for you, Sagittarians, that I see that you're going to make a mental note of. And I think this is something in the long term that actually can come and behoove you. Uh, relationships, the committed type relationships here for you. Uh, this month, it is very not just romantic, but I'm feeling committed to. I see you and your partner seeing eye to eye, getting on the same page. Uh, there is such a dedication and feeling not just of the the bond and the foundation of friendship that you share, but it's more like making some vows to one another of some new goals that you're going to be sharing uh, towards the future, getting on that same page. And let me tell you, though, this may also help you as far as your shared resources, the money that you spend together. There might be a, an influx of new money coming in for you this month, which is going to turn things around free you up a little bit. I'm seeing such a joy, big, happy smile on your face. And who would have known if we go back a few months ago? All right. So there's been major uh, transformation taking place in your life and it's starting to show. Here we go. This is the manifestation of it. I'm also feeling now as far as once again, love and romance is going to be great this month, showing up here again. Now, I see you cutting to the core, really feeling blessed and crowned here spiritually, Sagittarius, as if your dreams, your prayers now have been heard. I'm seeing how your foundation within home and family structure and all of this is feeling like the unit is tight around you. There is a female here that I feel is going to be quite influential this month as far as your feel good. All right. So listen to her. There's wisdom. There's guidance here. And for some of you, you might even start looking into wanting to take a course or a class uh, or deepening some insight. It's definitely a month that's quite philosophical for you where you're going to be questioning a whole lot. Your purpose, your navigation, your goals, aims and ambitions this month uh, is tied into this. So you're really getting it together. Career-wise for you, Sagittarius, I feel that you're going to be busy. I see things back to back. I see you doing, going about your daily work in your career. Not only is that going to flow for you here in June, but 
there might even be some creative ideas or could be also something unexpected coming in into this area. And in that case, it should be good, but it may leave you feeling that you have a choice that needs to be made. Maybe there is a, a potential offer coming in. And uh, But listen to your heart. If ever in doubt, our mind, if we ask our mind, well, our mind can give us a thousand different solutions. That's what the mind does, right? Whereas your heart will only give you two responses, either a yes or a no, or that this feels good or not. So listen to your heart. You will know exactly which direction to choose. And I see then from that point on, you heading towards these new goals. We're ending off the month here with you feeling crowned, blessed, uh, supported. There might be news now that you can feel is giving you more of a financial uh, support as you're entering into next month. And I see next month here for you, Sagittarius. Now, is if... June hasn't been wonderful. <laughs> Let's just wait and see what July is going to bring. Because now I see you ending this month with temperance, meaning that you're waiting uh, patiently now to see what is to come from all of this now that has um, revealed itself to you throughout this month. That's what I have for you here this month. And I would suggest also listening to your moon and rising sign here in the Tarot, just like I suggest also on the monthly astrology forecasts. Thank you for listening, everyone, and I will see you again next month.